Hi Pisces, welcome to your February 28th, 18th through the 28th tarot reading. Do not mind me, my brain is all over the place. So I am shuffling your cards right now um, to pull you guys a crowner for this week with my Angel Tarot deck. Romance Angel Tarot deck. Ooh! Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is beautiful. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who is very seductive, Pisces. Um, it could be an air sign that you're dealing with. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Very seductive. Like, they know how to woo you. Wow, guys. Somebody got rejected here at the beginning of the week. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Somebody is rejecting someone else because they're feeling betrayed. Maybe somebody went and had a passionate connection with someone else. And now they're, they're somebody like maybe heard about it or figured it out or, you know, something happened. Somebody is moving forward by themselves because they feel very betrayed. Here with the Four of Cups, they're rejecting someone. And someone is feeling this. Someone is really feeling this, guys. Somebody is focusing here on the negatives about someone. It could be a water sign, another water sign that you're dealing with, or a fire sign. The world. could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be. It could be a Leo, perhaps. It doesn't have to be, though. You're completing out a cycle with this person by rejecting them, or vice versa. There's something here that's being completed so that you can move forward peacefully. Because there's a new opportunity here. It could be with another Pisces. You're becoming unstuck, Pisces. Because for a while, you were very stuck with this person. And now, because you've decided to reject them, you're moving forward and you're not stuck. You're like coming out of this stuck period. The sun. Yeah, guys, there was some sort of light here that was shed on some sort of betrayal. Somebody was honest and they came through and said, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm walking away. I'm moving forward without you. And you're upset. Because you planted seeds with this person. You could have, like, you know, maybe been planning for marriage or something. But you, you realize that somebody was only in it for the passion. They were only in it for the, for the, the conquest, basically. You could be dealing with a Leo who was only in it for the conquest. They saw you as just, like, another prize, basically. And I think you realize that. But you guys are going to be getting an offer here, or you're going to be um, moving forward in work. You're focusing on your work right now, Pisces. Um, you're turning your back on a Leo. And you're deciding to move forward with your money. I think a lot of you guys aren't going to be so focused on love this week. You're going to be more focused on getting your bag. Um, but somebody could be coming through with an offer here. It could be an earth sign or, um, another water sign here. This is an offer that will make you very happy, though, Pisces. Yeah, guys, you've been having anxieties about this. You've been having nightmares. Maybe your anxiety is what triggered you to reject this person. You're like, you know what? I'm tired of stressing. I'm tired of worried, worrying about you all the time because I always feel like you're up to something. You're very sneaky for whatever reason. Um, you, you, got, you got trapped in your head, basically. You've been trapped in your head lately, and I think you're finally letting this person go because you're sick of being trapped in your head. You're like, I'm fucking sick of the nightmares. I'm sick of the worrying. I would rather be alone like, this is, this is your mindset. Like, I would rather be alone than be with someone and stress about them all the time. You know, stress about what they're doing all the time. So that's what you're deciding to do. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you guys could be dealing with a 
another water sign, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with here. Um, so you're coming, or like if you're not dealing with another water sign, you're... Somebody's really in their emotions about this. Somebody is really, really in their emotions. Um, they're thinking heavy, they're plotting. You could be plotting, like I'm hearing plotting. <coughs> Some of you guys want to get back at this person. Um, because somebody has hurt you. <coughs> Don't mind me, I have allergies right now. Um, so. Yeah, some of you guys are going to be really feeling this. Somebody is really, really feeling this right now in their emotions. You rejecting somebody or somebody rejecting you has got you or the other person in their emotions. Yeah, guys, because somebody planted seeds here. They want an offer. I think somebody here is like kind of teetering. Like they want an offer, but at the same time, like they're so focused on the negative that they're like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I really want to be with this person. Um, but there is an offer coming in, and you've been planning for this, like, you know that this is coming in. Somebody is, somebody here is done being confused. Maybe that's why you left somebody, because you felt like they were very confused. There's a lot of confusion energy going on in the collective right now, like, a lot of people are going, they're, this is like, you know, if there's one thing that I've learned through reading tarot, it's that we're all going through the same shit, and... There's a lot of people walking away right now and backing down from people who are, um, who are very confused. There's a lot of people who are dealing with people who are very confused about what they want right now. So the collective is like, has like a half group of people that are walking away from the other half because the other half is like confused. You're having hope though, or this person's having hope. If you're dealing with another water sign or a Leo, they're having hope about you. They're trying to, um, they're in their emotions and they're having hope. This person could be stressing now that you've left them. Somebody, like, I'm telling you guys, this rejection has kept somebody up at night. Like, somebody can't sleep. Somebody here can't sleep because they've been rejected. You have, like, turned this person's world into something else. King of Cups, wow. Wow. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with another water sign. Um, I got the King and Queen of Cups right next to each other, guys. Some of you will be getting an offer from this person. But I do, I do, the only warning I have, Pisces, is that this person, if you are dealing with another water sign, they're still focused on the negatives that you've done to them or whatever. So... That could cause this to get very unstable very quick because it is a stable offer that's coming in. Like somebody does want to commit to you now. Because pentacles, they're I think of like grounding, like you're you're bringing something into fruition. Like I think for a while this connection was very up in the air. Super up in the air. Like you didn't know where this was going. And that kept that was stressing you out. But now, towards the end of the week, this person's gonna be coming through with an offer. Um, that is more stable, that is more grounded. So you guys could be solidifying this connection towards the end of the week. And you're having hope about this. I think leaving this person or rejecting this person was the best thing you could do for yourself. So for the advice, we have attraction. And for the outcome, we have codependency. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, guys, just be focusing on your work right now. Just be focusing on you, focusing on bettering yourself, and love will come through. Um, because there is some sort of codependency issue here with you and this person. You guys are very, very um, similar. You guys are like, some of you could be dealing with your perfect match. You know what I mean? You, you, could, you really could be king and queen of cups here. Um, that you, You've been keeping an eye on planting these seeds, especially if you're a masculine Pisces you've had your eye on planting these seeds like you really really want to be with this person but there just has been some confusion lately somebody doesn't want to be codependent again like that's what I'm seeing here that's one of the worries here that's one of the fears is codependency somebody doesn't want to like have to rely on this person and I'm getting because they've been untrustworthy and why would you want to rely or be codependent on somebody who you can't even fucking trust you know what I mean so that's the tea um yeah so 
this is a pretty good spread. I would say just focus on you right now, Pisces. This person is doing some soul searching right now. The collective, the people who have been rejected, they're doing soul searching. Like, this is all divinely guided. This is all happening for a reason. Um, you could be getting an offer from an earth sign this week, too. If it's not the same person, you guys could be meeting a very new person. Um, you could be having somebody lurking in the shadows that's keeping an eye on you while you're focusing on this person in the past. Um, and But you're too busy focused on this person in the past. And some of you will be taking this new person, but some of you guys will be going back and planting, replanting these seeds and making this offer stable with this past person. But that is what I see here. If you would like to book a personal reading, I can get uh, much more clear on your situation. Um, you can always email me or DM me. All of my information is in the description box below. And I'm doing a special this month, guys. Um, if you refer three people, um, for now until the month of March, like all the way through, um, if you refer three people, you'll get a free reading. Just have them me like message me what your name is um, so I can keep tabs on who all is like, referring people, right? So yeah, that's all I have here. Um, have a wonderful rest of your week, Pisces. It's wonderful to read your cards. Take care. And I love you guys. Bye.